Hey, screen printers, in the spirit of Halloween, we're going to be doing a little cool Jack Skeleton print using Ryo Charge and Glow in the Dark ink. So, Ryo Charge is uh, ink that actually is a plastisol hybrid with an emulsion. So, the Ryo Charge mixes in with any color plastisol, and we're going to try it out with plastisol Glow in the Dark. Glow in the Dark has a phosphorescent agent or um, pigment mixed into it. So basically, when you see the shirt in the light, it kind of looks like you know an off-white like you see in the can right there. But when you see it in the dark, it glows really bright. It gets charged up by light and then glows in the dark. So it's awesome for all sorts of applications. And with the round charge, we're going to see how it you know, like really gets into the shirt and what it looks like um, with the discharge effect because we've never tried that before. So first of all, we got to mix that 50-50. So the way Ryo Charger works is you take your Ryo Charge, you mix it 50-50 with any plastisol ink. So let's actually, we got an empty container on here on the scale. So we're going to zero that out. And then we're going to put, we're not going to use a lot of ink today. So we're just going to mix a little bit of Glow in the Dark ink. Glow in the Dark is already pretty runny. And then, so that's 39 grams. So that means we're going to take 40 grams of the Ryo Charge and mix in 40 grams of Ryo Charge. So we get up to 80 there. Or 50-50, very, very easy mixing instructions. And then we're going to mix 5% agent. So the agent is actually a discharge activating agent. There we go. And we're going to mix 4 grams of the agent, so we're going to go up to 84. Now this is a formaldehyde base, so you do want to use it in a ventilated area. You don't want to use it in a closed area like a closet or a small small room or small bedroom. Open ventilated area like we're in today works great. All right, so we got 5% agent in there. Now we're going to take our mixing tool and mix this all up. So the Ryo Charge mixes in with the agent. Uh, the thing about Ryo Charge is that it only lasts for a couple hours once you mix it, so you only want to mix as much as you're going to be using. So that's why right now we have a very small amount of it mixed up. And we got to allow that agent to activate for about a couple, two or three minutes. You'll see the ink start to bubble up, kind of like it is then. When it's mixed in, dissolved, then we can go to press. So we have a round charge and our glow in the dark mixed up. Let's put it on press and see what we get. So we've post hardened this using Hard Next Screen Hardener because round charge is more of an aggressive ink. More, very similar to discharge, so if we use it on a standard emulsion, we can print a couple shirts, but it'll start to eat down standard emulsion. So we'll flood it. You can see that this discharge is activated, and then we'll do two prints, back flood, make sure that we get a good transfer there. So there's the route charge without being cured. We'll run that underneath the flash dryer. We're using a forced air flash dryer to cure the ink, and you can actually see the discharge process happening right now. So you can see that discharge effect starting to take place as the shirt's heating up. There we go. As it basically gets, looks, the unwet look goes away, that's the discharge actively activating. And it's leaving the shirt completely dyed out, but nice and soft. So the advantage to using a Ryo Charge or a Discharge ink is that you don't have a hand or feel on the ink. So there we have our discharge ink with the 50-50 mix on the phosphorescent glow in the dark plastisol. So it's a Ryo Charge with 50-50 plastisol glow in the dark. Now let's take this into the dark room and see how it glows. Okay, we're in the dark room right now. I'm going to test the results of the 50-50 Ryo Charge and glow in the dark ink. So we got the screens, right, the t-shirts right now on the light table because you need to charge any type of glow in the dark is phosphorescent. So if you are in a dark room, it doesn't have any light to charge it. It's not going to look, you know, bright whatsoever. So we're charging them right now um, with UV light, like the sun would charge a glow-in-the-dark shirt. Then we're going to turn the lights off, and we're going to test the washed version and the unwashed version. So first, we have the unwashed version, as you can see right here, nice and bright, 50/50 Ryo charge and glow-in-the-dark. And then right here, we have the washed version. So this has been through the wash, and it feels almost like there's no ink there. There's just a little tiny pigment that you can feel, but also you know, very, very nicely. If we look uh, side by side here, it looks pretty much just as good. So it, it held up during the wash and that was very important for us to test.